In Dune, the Bene Gesserit are a powerful group of women who have mastered practices such as Prana Bindu, an ultimate mastery of the body's muscles and nerve training, and who have unlocked the ability to access the memories of their female ancestors. They had many plans and schemes in play, one of which was the Missionaria Protectiva, which was a system that would ensure the safety of one of their sisters, should they come across a people and circumstances which could endanger them on other worlds. The way the Missionaria Protectiva works is that they would willingly send out a well-trained Bene Gesserit to different worlds with the goal of seeding a culture, essentially influencing the culture of a people. She would plant herself among those people and use all her skills and tools at her disposal to gain an advantage over them, rising in status among them to be an important figure that the society she has come across will respect. She would then make sure that the culture's beliefs considered women similar to her as important. On a ruckus, one of the Bene Gesserit sisters did seed the planet with their Missionaria Protectiva among the Fremen. This ensured the safety of Lady Jessica and Paul Atreides when they came into contact with them, and Jessica would become a Seyyidina of the Fremen. So what is the Seyyidina? It is a role among the Fremen which comes from the Fremen themselves. That's one of the key things to remember, but the role of the title of Seyyidina was manipulated by the Bene Gesserit to suit their needs. The one to consecrate a Sayyidina is in fact the Reverend Mother of Arrakis, a role which the Bene Gesserit made as a higher rank of honour among the Fremen. The Sayyidina would have been at the top of the rank prior to this. This means the act of consecration of a Sayyidina is a Bene Gesserit manipulation of the Fremen, so that the Reverend Mother has control over who is chosen to be next in line to take the title of Reverend Mother among the Fremen. Chani was chosen to be a Sayyidina. I, the Reverend Mother Amallo, whose voice speaks as a multitude, say this to you, the old woman said. It is fitting that Chani enter the Sayyidina. It is fitting, the crowd responded. The old woman nodded, whispered, I give her the silver skies, the golden desert, and its shining rocks, the green fields that will be... I give these to Sayyidina Shani, and lest she forget that she's servant of us all, to her for the menial tasks in this ceremony of the seed. Let it be as Shaykh Hulwood will have it. There was a time when there were no reverend mothers on a ruckus. This means that at that time, nobody had attempted to take the water of life. Or worse, someone did attempt to take the water of life and failed, resulting in their death. But what is likely is that there was always a Sayyidina among them, chosen by the people or the leader at the time, just as Chani was the Sayyidina, should Jessica fail her test. Mentioned a whopping 34 times just shows how important this term and this role is in the Dune story. It is defined in the terminology of the Imperium at the back of the Dune book as a feminine acolyte in the Fremen religious hierarchy, the title of Sayyidina was almost synonymous with Reverend Mother on Arrakis. The Sayyidina, he said. Our Reverend Mother is old. The Sayyidina, when they are not the formal leaders, hold a special place of honour. They teach. They maintain the strength of God here. In order for Jessica to prove that she was someone who had the ability to maintain the strength of God on Arrakis, and that she was part of the legend of the Lisan al Ghaib, she had to give a sign, and the first thing she mentioned was Edeb, she whispered. Her mind felt as though it had rolled over within her. She recognized the sensation with a quickening of pulse. Nothing in all the Bene Gesserit training carried such a signal of recognition. It could be only the Edeb, the demanding memory that comes upon you of itself. She gave herself up to it, allowing the words to flow from her. Ibn Qurtayba, she said, as far as the spot where the dust ends. We need to break this down because this is important. The person Jessica is referring to is Ibn Qutayba, who was a master of Edeb literature. Edeb became a type of genre in Arabic literature developed in the 9th century, which was centered on humanitarian concerns, good breeding, 
courtesy and urbanity, subjects that directly relate to Dune. So it's interesting that Edeb is the first word Jessica thinks of and utters in her goal to prove she is a Sayyidina. She stretched out an arm from her robe, seeing Stilgar's eyes go wide. She heard a rustling of many robes in the background. I see a... Fremen, with the Book of Examples, she intoned. And there is actually a really interesting secret about what the Book of Examples is. She continues to say, He reads to Alert, the son whom he defied and subjugated. He reads to the seduce of the trial, and this is what he reads. Mine enemies are like green blades eaten down, that did stand in the path of the tempest. Hast thou not seen what our Lord did? He sent the pestilence among them, that did lay schemes against us. They are like birds scattered by the huntsmen. Their schemes are like pellets of poison that every mouth rejects. These verses that Jessica quotes are actually verses based on the Qur'an, drawing from the chapter of the Qur'an called The Elephant. Some of the translated words have been moved around or omitted, but here is the Quranic version. Hast thou not seen how thy Lord did with the fellows of the elephant? Did he not put their scheme awry? He sent upon them birds in flocks, which pelted them with stones and baked clay, and made them like green blades eaten down. So what exactly is going on in this strange scene? Well, to put it simply, Jessica is using Arabic literature, specifically the Qur'an, to convince the Fremen that she is a Sayyidina and part of the legend of the Lisan al-Ghayb, which just shows how Arabic and Islamic the Fremen are actually supposed to be. This scene shows two things. One, that the Fremen know the Qur'an, they know the verses she is reciting, and two, Jessica knows the Qur'an herself because she studied this book, the Azhar book, which I've mentioned previously to be the main book that the Al-Azhar University studies in Cairo, Egypt. And all the Bene Gesserit studied this book. A trembling passed through her. She dropped her arm. In the sudden hush, Stilgar bowed to her. Sayyidina, he said. If the Shaihul would grant, then you may yet pass within to become a reverend mother. Pass within, she thought. An odd way of putting it but the rest of it fitted into the cant well enough, and she felt a cynical bitterness at what she had done. Our missionaria protectiva seldom fails. A place was prepared for us in this wilderness. The prayer of the Salat has carved out our hiding place. Jessica is literally aware that the verses she spoke of are literal prayers from the Salat, which is the word for the Islamic prayers. While performing the Salat, prayers or verses are recited from the Qur'an. From then onwards, Jessica was referred to as Sayyidina, fulfilling her role. She was accepted as Sayyidina before she even attempted to drink the water of life. Our new Sayyidina, Jessica of the Wirding, has consented to enter the rite at this time. She will attempt to pass within, that we not lose the strength of our reverend mother. The Bene Gesserit became aware of the new Sayyidina on a ruckus, but they did not know that it was Jessica. In the appendix at the back of the Dune book, in appendix 3, the Sayyidina write, on Bene Gesserit motives and purposes, the report stated clearly that he was accompanied by a new reverend mother of the Sayyidina rite, who is the woman who bore him, suggesting that this was a rite that the Bene Gesserit were aware of, even before the new Sayyidina on a ruckus. As with many words in Dune, the origin of the word is from Arabic. Sayyidina means our leader or our master in Arabic. But not only is it Arabic, it is used in a religious context too. It came from the Islamic sources of the Fremen faith, who are an offshoot of Islam, now called Zen Sunni. But their faith goes back to the original Islam from Earth, known as Old Terror in Dune. The word Sayyidina is often a term closely related to Prophet Muhammad, and some include it in the wording before the name Muhammad. The use of the word also extends to the companions of the Prophet, for example in the case of Muhammad's best friend, Sayyidina Abu Bakr. Some Muslims call Mary, mother of Jesus, as Sayyidatuna, the female equivalent of Sayyidina, and would have been the correct form to use for a woman. So a Sayyidina means our master, and the one who is the master of the Fremen in the spiritual sense. 
It is interesting how the male form of the title was kept and not changed to Sayyidatuna among the Fremen. A Sayyidina is not seen as a formal leader, but a leader in an honorific way, and most of the leaders on Dune are men, so the use of the male form of Sayyid, or more appropriately, the giving of the male term upon the women is perhaps the highest honour a Fremen leader could have bestowed. But the usage of the wording in the male form for a female is strange and incorrect, which can mean only one thing. There are Bene Gesserit schemes at play here. Somewhere along the line, a Bene Gesserit manipulated the role of Sayyidina among the Fremen, in the hopes that a male Sayyid or Master would come and assume this role of high status among the Fremen, similar to a prophet. This was to make a way for the Kfizat's Hadarak to come into being, who would be known as the Lisan al Ghaib and the Mehdi among the Fremen. But the role was manipulated to include women, as well as men, so that a Bene Gesserit would be safe on Dune. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. Check out some of my other Dune content or some of my other popular culture videos here.